everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma aka Fleurs and if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. It's lovely to see you again. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of natural waterfall speed build. I feel like a lot of my island has been decorating areas and putting down furniture. There's not been a lot of terraforming so that's why I thought I would switch it up today and work on that. Throughout my kind of main neighbourhood that I worked on, if you want to go see the video for that, it should be in my channel. Uh, there is a river that flows throughout and at the top of it I thought it would be nice to have some sort of waterfall looking quite natural just to kind of make a focal point of it really. And I'm not sure how else I would start off a river than a waterfall. It seems like the natural thing to do. So this is kind of the area that I've done. I'm going to build it up. It's already on tier kind of one at the minute so we're only going to be able to go one more because I want to be able to put stuff on it. So we'll see how it goes. I kind of have made it a bit harder for myself because I've already put the river in. Maybe if I had started with the waterfall it would have been a bit easier but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it turns out okay. Um, and I might need to make a few little adjustments to the cliff here and there. I also want to do like a duck pond area for the other bit around it. As you can see I've kind of got my dirt path in, I've planned out where I want things to go and on the right hand side as you saw before is where my Able Sisters is and there's a kind of a back passage, a secret way to get out the back. I just thought it would be a nice way to ensure that you can kind of get around the island easily, even though it is a tight squeeze. Um, so yeah, just working on the cliffs here. I don't really have a plan as to how high I want them to go or how big I want them to go. I just know that I want that little bit of room to put a small duck pond in. So we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to add this extra cliff on here and here just so that I can fit the waterfalls a bit better because um, obviously you need like three squares or whatever to be able to get them in properly. Just a bit more around the back just to make it a bit bigger so that I can also fit some trees on. I love putting trees on cliffs as well as kind of flowers and natural stuff but we'll come to that later. So I've kind of rounded off the edges to make them look quite natural, um, or hopefully it does anyway. So I'm going to try and figure out where I want my two waterfalls to go. I think two is probably going to be the right amount because there isn't a lot of space down into the main river itself. Um, so I'm going to have one at the top and two here. And there we go. Just climb back up. And this is going to be the second waterfall. I have decided to go one further square back just for kind of ease. And then I thought about kind of putting a pond on that side, on the right side, but I've decided to do it on the left. Just a tiny little one just so that there's kind of a source for where the water has come from. I just think that that's a nice idea. And then I thought I'd do a corner waterfall here. This one doesn't really lead to anywhere because there's a path there, but it's just a nice pretty kind of corner. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put down some items. I've got kind of flower filler patterns. I've got rocks. I've got uh, log stakes, things like that. Things that I generally love to use when I'm decorating cliffs and natural areas. It feels like a long time since I've done this sort of area. But it's nice, I, I do miss it and hopefully maybe on my next island then I'll be able to do some more like this. I just feel building naturally is just more my thing. But I will challenge myself on my next island. Would you guys, so I'm also thinking about doing two islands, which maybe is a bit daunting, but would you guys like to know what my plans are for the two islands? I can definitely do a video for that. I definitely have a plan for one of them the other one I'm not so sure about so if you have any ideas feel free to share them with me in the comments I would love to hear what you guys would love to see me do next so here's my trees that I was on about I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna be able to fit two on but that should be enough just to not overcrowd the area and keep it quite kind of all about the flowers which I obviously love 
again, still using the blue and white. I'm gonna miss them. <laughs> I'm gonna miss all these blue and white flowers when I'm not using them anymore. I definitely want to try and use some more like pinks and yellows and pastel colors because I've never really done that before. I've always kind of used white flowers, which are lovely, but I really need to venture out of my comfort zone and try different things and see what works for me. So, as I said, we've got some log stakes, we've got some garden rocks down. Um, I thought it would be nice to add the paper cut kite butterfly. That's definitely my favourite um, butterfly model. I just love it. I'm not sure why, but I think maybe the simplicity of it, the white and the black, it's just quite nice and it's not too colourful. Obviously, I need some ducks around here. So I've used the white one on top of my puddle design, which I love. Again, I say it every time, but if you're new here, then maybe you haven't heard it. All the codes for my build should be in the description. If you, there's one that you can't quite find, by all means, feel free to ask. I don't mind. And I'll try and find it for you if I don't have it. So I just need to fill in this area down here as well. Need to give this some love. Um, so flowers again. Um, the bushes that I'm using are the yellow tea olive ones, which I prefer the kind of the leaves on them. They've kind of always been my go-to. Again, maybe I need to step out of my comfort zone there, but um, I do like in using those ones. Just because you can never have too many ducks. I just love jumping over the waterfalls, I don't know why, it's so much fun. Probably could have found an easier way to get around there, but hey. I tried to use this mushroom log, but I think because I've got the decoy duck back there, then it wasn't quite working. So instead, I switched it out for the log stool and the common butterfly model this time. Again, another one of my favourite butterfly models. I would love to hear in the comments which ones are your favourites. Do you like the bright coloured ones or do you like the kind of plainer, simple ones? I do like the monarch, is it the monarch or the, yeah, the kind of orangey coloured one and the peacock butterfly as well because they're not, they're not overly bright, they're quite muted colours. And this is the point where I get stuck. I'm just gonna use a rescue service. Don't judge me for how many knit miles I have, please. <laughs> That's a lot. You've gotta bear in mind that I had two islands on this one account. So they've just kind of stacked up and I haven't really gone on any villager hunts in a very long time, it feels like. So yeah, they just kind of accrue and I'm not really spending them, so hey. So time to start work on that duck pond that I was talking about, so here we go. I'm going to try and make it go around the cliff just to see how that works. Um, it might look awful, but we'll give it a go. I always forget that trees kind of block the way for where you're putting your water, which is a bit frustrating. I wish you could go right up to them, but I understand why, because they're fruit trees and obviously your fruit will go straight into the water. I'm gonna move this little stunted tree back just so that I have a bit more space. Here we go. And just build around here. As I was saying, didn't mean to do that. I'm terrible at accidentally building things back where they shouldn't be. And then because of that cliff, it is a bit of an awkward um, kind of curve round, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna build this edge right up into up to the path, I think, just to give it some more space and differentiate between the left-hand side. There we go. Obviously, I like to round out my corners just to make them look more natural. Um, I just think that they look better that way. So that's how I do my ponds generally. I don't normally go for this kind of shape ponds. Um, definitely not something I normally do, but um, again, something just a bit more interesting than the general kind of round shapes. It's 
popping in some more flowers, more foliage, things like that. And then here, I think, I think we need a rock. So I'm gonna put some of my cobblestone designs down. I'm, I still love this island, but do you know where you get to a point where you're like, I'm just a bit tired of looking at it. So I'm really, really excited to start something new. Um, and I'm not burnt out. I'm definitely not burnt out because I still do enjoy playing the game and I don't play all that much because most of the time when I play I'm recording videos and things so that keeps it kind of fresh for me and obviously I love recording the videos um, but I just want a new challenge I think. Um, my attention span is quite small generally so maybe that's why but it doesn't feel like I don't know I need to figure out how long this island has taken me um, it's been a few months for sure um, so we'll just have to see um, I will try and figure it out because I would like to know my hours thing I can't tell you how many hours I put into it because of my previous island but I'm excited to restart and play the game from the beginning because flattening was a whole thing that I really don't want to do again. Not anytime soon, anyway. So there we have it. There's that little transitional area done as well. I'm just gonna pop a pot down because I love these, but I don't use them enough. I will finish off the path. You see where the dirt path hasn't got the overlay on. Um, I'll do that at a later time off um, camera just because I don't think it's very exciting to see. And if you want to know how I did my path, I did a video recently where I talked about how you can kind of enhance using the in-game path. And I really love some of those tips and tricks. So if you want to have a look at that video, then it should be in the design ideas playlist as well. Look at me here, just plugging all my previous videos today. That's what it feels like anyway. So I have sectioned off this little square area. This whole section of my island is just kind of turning into a park area um, but I just thought it would be a nice way to have some kind of focal point so I thought the well kind of fitted quite nicely with the island and I'm gonna put some custom designs underneath it just to kind of give it some more detail just to, this is just a normal cobblestone path that I've used over the dirt path as you can see I think it just looks a bit better. I did think about like dropping some money and things. I've seen people do that and I love it. I think it's really, really cute. Um, but I'm not gonna do that because in my head it's more like a water well, where maybe like the residents used to come and get their daily water from. That's kind of what I'm going with. So I'm gonna keep it quite natural again, just flowers and bushes and things. I think for the other right hand section I'm going to do like a kids park, if you guys would like to see a speed build for that it will be the first time where I've done anything that's like remotely kid core, apart from maybe that yard over there with the paddling pool. So if you guys would like to see a speed build of that then let me know. And the final touch that I need for the speed build is a decoy duck for this stone stool, I forgot about it. There we go. So we're back, I've time travelled forward a day or two, my flowers aren't completely grown in but you can kind of see them a bit more. I thought I would give you a viewpoint of down here by Igli's house, this is where the neighbourhood kind of starts. Um, you can't get a great view but you can kind of see what I was going for. And then here we are up top, Just you can see I've gone for lots of natural stuff, lots of blues, whites obviously. Um, but I'm quite happy with it. It's not my favourite waterfall I've ever done. I've definitely done better and there is another waterfall on my island back by the harbour which I really prefer. Um, but we'll be able to see that when I do my finished island tour and you guys can let me know which one you think. And then here's the wishing well and the duck pond. Just have a little bit of a sit down, relax. You know it's hard work touring these islands and showing you guys off the work that I've done. It's not really, but um, I just thought I'd make out like it was. I can't get through. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that's pretty much the whole build. 
let me know what you guys think about the waterfall do you like it do you think it's a nice way to decorate what kind of waterfalls do you have on your island do you go for natural ones or do you like the kind of straight edge ones let me know in the comments and if you've enjoyed the video please remember to click that like button and as I said before if you're new here please remember to subscribe we'd love to have you as part of the channel we've got a discord we've got membership so remember to check them out as well have a wonderful day and we'll see you again soon with another video bye bye